Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an issue changing the display resolution on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is right click on the desktop and select display settings. On the right side, if you want to adjust the scale of text, apps, and other items on your screen, you can click inside the drop down here and adjust them here. But most of you guys are likely here for the actual display resolution. I think some people might mix up what scale and display resolution is. So that's why I just made a distinction there. So anyway, for the display resolution, if you click inside the drop down here, you should be able to select various resolutions. And depending on your monitor, it will vary on how it will appear. So my monitor is 1440 by 900. A lot of you guys might be 1920 by 1080 or varying degrees in between or outside of that range as well. And you can also go down and you can underneath related settings, select advanced display. And if you select display adapter properties for your display, so you click inside of here, it'll open up additional settings here. So if you clicked on the properties button for the adapter type, it's currently selected. You can select the driver tab and then select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a specific one for your display, I recommend doing that. Otherwise you can install the basic display adapter, but if there's one that pertains to your monitor specifically, I'd recommend doing that one and then select next. And then once it's done, close out of here. And I would suggest as well closing out of this. Going back on the left side here to Windows Update, you can search for it as well in the search menu if you accidentally close out of here. And you just will go ahead and check for updates. I'll go ahead and actually download and install any updates that are applicable and then you would restart your device and then hopefully that should be about it to resolve and then hopefully that would be about it to resolve your issue. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a positive to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.